Not all UK dental schools will allow people who've taken resets to reapply. So do your research, make sure that if you're resetting or retaking any A-level exams, that the universities that you're applying to allow resets, okay? Hey my loves and you're welcome and um, welcome back to my channel. So I'm Priscilla and I go by Celessa here um, and on here we discuss everything education and lifestyle related so if that's the type of content you're interested in um, do make sure that you subscribe and turn your post notifs on so that you don't miss anything that I post on here. In this video we're going to be discussing how to navigate um, the situation if you have just missed your dental school offer on results day. So you've received your results and it's not quite what you needed to get in first of all i empathize with you it must be really hard for you and um, you've worked so hard going through all those strenuous um, interview processes done your ucat done all of that got good offers and now the last lap is where you've missed your grades it's unfortunate we all didn't pray for this but it's happened and in life you just have to navigate through things that you didn't even expect to happen so this is a point at which we are and the most important thing here is um you trying to find a way forward and not dwelling too much on the results that you've got today i can't imagine how you feel right now and i hope you're taking it easy on yourself honestly you did the best that you could and in life things happen sometimes things don't go the way we planned but that doesn't mean that you're not good enough that doesn't mean that you can't retake and um, this and go for dentistry if that's what you really want i'm going to go straight into the video now a couple of options you have and um, navigating your way forward from today and hopefully you find one of these applicable to you when you apply to dental school you apply to four dental schools and you had one backup you have the option of doing an alternative of course so something like biochem biomed something related for about three years and then um, at the end of that applying to graduate dentistry however you need to be aware of the pros and cons that come with that so obviously you're going to be in uni for at least seven or eight years before you become a dentist if that's something you don't mind you might consider that option also the financial aspect of that if you don't mind going through that paying that much money and um, to finally become a dentist in the end then that might be something that you can consider are doing doing a um, degree um, related to science in a way and then doing graduate dentistry and at the end of that on the other hand you could um, take another degree and completely change your career path so if you do something like pharmacy which is about four years you can then decide to become a pharmacist instead of being a dentist i mean that is not the be all and end all i know some people who've studied pharmacy and um do want to transition into dentistry so i guess that is something that might be possible at the end of that but pharmacy is obviously four years so it's longer than biochem so if you're interested in actually studying graduate dentistry at the end of that interim course you're going to study then maybe do something that is shorter than pharmacy and um, something that's three years instead of four years so that you can um, reduce the amount of time you have to be in uni for um, before you actually start studying dentistry if that makes any sense so yeah you have two options here either to study something that leads you on to graduate dentistry or completely change your career path and study something else that you're interested in as well another option that you have available to you and that so many people take is the good old gap year look i am like a gap year advocate like i think you can never go wrong with a gap year like taking one year out of study before you take it it sounds long it sounds like ooh, a whole year out of study but really it goes like this it goes so quickly and it's it's just a good time for you to actually consider to recalibrate and to actually make up your mind in case you're unsure of what you want to do in the future it helps you to make a decision also if you're set on studying dentistry and you know this is a career you want to pursue taking a gap year will help you to gain more experience so working in a dental practice or shadowing a dentist something related to that sort of um, thing it also allows you to um, go traveling and um, enjoying your time before you go full on into education again um, and if in your case you haven't achieved the grades that you need for dental school obviously a gap year gives you the time to do that to re-register to study retake those exams that you got a b or c on and get your grades up and make you more suitable to getting in the second time i know that the pros and cons that come with that 
obviously like financial constraints and things like that and um, being away from all of your friends if you think you can handle the things that come with the gap year then i think it's a good option for you to take to retake those exams gain more experience see why you went wrong in your application um retake the ucat build upon your personal statement include all of the new experiences you've got or you've gained on that gap year to buttress your um, application and make it even stronger because one thing that admissions students like to see is people who've tried again it's all part of maturing as well it just shows that you're mature and that you know when to take a step back and when to re-attempt to do well in things that you might have failed you need to make sure that whatever you need you're applying to the second time um are happy to take students who have um, done resets not all uk dental schools will allow um, people who've taken resets um, to reapply so do your research make sure that if you're resetting or retaking any a-level exams that the universities that you're applying to allow resets okay now you're doing this a second time around you don't want to waste any applications don't neglect that part of research and apply to a school that will let you in if you've taken a reset it's a bit counterintuitive okay so don't do that whatever you need you're applying to phone up look up their website email them if you're not sure make sure that they allow um, retakers or resitters into the dental course one more thing you want to do if you're taking the gap year route is to be very organized okay so if you're going traveling know when you're going know when you're coming back and um, if you're um, retaking any exams make sure that you register either with the school you went to or with an examination center if you have to do that make sure that you have all the deadlines in your book that you don't miss out anything because of like a silly mistake of overlooking something make sure that you've registered for the UK cat and that you've sat it or the BMAT at the right time make sure that you've improved upon your personal statement that you don't miss deadlines when it comes to submitting the personal statement that you have your interview dates in if you do get any interviews hopefully you do get them just things like that be very organized one thing that trips most people people up on gap years is that they're not as organized as they have to be like the year goes by so quickly and if you don't have a plan you would have done one year and gained nothing out of it I took a gap year and so this hits close to home you need to have a good plan be very very organized if you're going to take a gap year so if you're not someone who likes to manage your time well if you're not a very organized person a gap year might not be for you you'll literally blink and realize the next minute that one year is over so when it comes to gaining relevant and work experience you can get this from shadowing a local practice um reading some books related to dentistry um, working as a receptionist at a dental practice go on indeed they have job openings every time check with your local practice see if they're happy for you to come in one or two days a week it's great if they'll let you in to shadow just so you can build a case in your personal statement and at interview as well because um admissions tutors especially at interview want to know what you did with that one year out of study they want to know that you did something that that was relevant to your reapplication to dental school so make sure that you use it wisely if you're going to take a gap year this is not the be all and end all of life i know you're feeling down right now i know this is not the result you were expecting you're expecting to just go in because you, you've worked so hard, you've got your personal statement in, you passed your interviews, you got an offer and you missed your grade. I know it's a bit underwhelming, it's a bit anticlimactic, but honestly, all things can and will work together for your good if you put in the work and if you identify where you weren't wrong and try to try to make it right the second time. So if you failed biology, you can actually request to get your papers back and see where obviously you're gonna have to pay for it so if you're up for that that's a good option you can request to get your papers back see where you went wrong if it was the essay just start rewriting essays improve upon whatever weakness it is that didn't allow you to achieve your predicted grades and hopefully the second time around things go well for you and you get in all the best i hope that this was helpful i hope that um at least one of these options apply to you and that you're happy to take them um and yeah whatever you choose to do at the end of the day i hope it's what makes you happy and i hope it's what makes you feel fulfilled i hope it's something that you have chosen to do because you want to and not because the people around you are directing you towards that i mean it's it's good to take advice from people i'm not saying don't listen to people um, especially if they're in the same field if they can direct to you wisely but i think at the end of the day whatever decision you choose to make should 
should make you happy shouldn't make you feel like you're going in the right direction okay so yeah all the best all the best with your reapplication with the gap year with studying another course if that's what you want to do and yeah i hope you make the right decisions and i'll see you in the next one